morning everybody I've just come up to my room to get dressed and it's a lovely day the sun is shining and I can't believe a certain little person yep has gotten into my bed what's going on there Norms it's not even cold as it's a lovely day I'm going to pressure wash this area and I'm gonna just quickly give my car a clean as well so that's my plan for the next hour and I'll show you the results afterwards. I don't think you're really going to see at the moment. But I suppose if you look down here, it's a bit green. So I'll get rid of all of that. Give it a good clean anyway and clean up Jimmy's toilet just there. Okay, so it's all been cartridged under the car, where the car is. I took the car out onto the road, cleaned the car at the same time and just given it a good clean. 
obviously you can't see at the moment if there's any real difference because it's still wet but hopefully later when it's dry we'll see a difference I've probably missed a few bits here and there again anyway so but it doesn't matter there it's nearly dry and it certainly is looking a lot cleaner so happy days So I've been trying to capture the squirrel on camera today and I had nuts out earlier on and I had the phone out earlier on and I kept recording and checking and nothing. So I brought the phone in and when did the squirrel come whilst I was out the front doing the pressure washing. So I thought typical. So now I've put more nuts out. Obviously camera is out there again. Where is the squirrel? Nowhere to be seen. Typical, huh?
So today we're having roast beef dinner and somebody asked me how to make the Yorkshire puddings or show you how to make the Yorkshire puddings. Well, I'm actually going to be using some I made last time, so I have frozen them, but they're now out on the tray and then they will just go in the oven literally for, I don't know, two or three minutes to heat them through. Anyway, the proper way, which was um, given to me by my friend who comes from Yorkshire, is if you weigh say two or three eggs so take the weight of the egg do the same amount in plain flour I think if you're in the US you'd have to use all-purpose um, so yeah the, the weight of the eggs same weight flour and then the same weight in milk a pinch of salt whisk it all together and put it in the fridge and leave it until you're ready to use it they take about 10-15 minutes to cook you then put a baking tray in the oven we use bun trays um, put some little bit of oil in each one and then turn whack the oven up quite high so that the oil is almost steaming then add the mixture to each one or if you're going to make a large one to the large one and then put it back in the oven and then don't open the oven because they need to rise but that's how you make it next time I make them I will actually show you um, how it goes but this time round I had already made a load last time so I did freeze them so that's what we're having with dinner today. Roast beef, Yorkshire puddings, roast potatoes. I'm having roast carrots. Carol wants asparagus again. So we're having some asparagus and I'm not sure what else I'm having with it yet. I need to check to see what I've already got in the freezer. So dinner is ready. We have roast beef, roast potatoes. Carol's got roast baby potatoes, Yorkshire puddings, cabbage and asparagus that Carol wanted. I've got the same, but I've also got roast carrots. Carol is off of carrots at the moment. Top of gravy, horseradish sauce. I'm ready to eat because this girl is starving. I think somebody's hiding from me. He doesn't want me to find him. But you know what? I've seen him. I don't think he realises though. Only a cat knows what a cat is thinking, I'm sure of it. <laughs> 